Hi there. If you have been dreaming of retirement to Italy, you probably know if you've watched my channel before, there are tons of very affordable houses and properties all over Italy. But for retirement specifically, did you know that there are special places you can move in Italy and pay a very reduced income tax rate? Income taxes in Italy are relatively high um, and they do have a progressive system but to lure foreign retirees to italy they instituted a flat tax regime where if you move to certain regions there are eight of them you can qualify and only pay seven percent flat tax on your income in this video i'm going to show you what the eight regions are and i'm going to give you all the requirements you need to understand let's talk about the requirements first and then again, we're gonna go through each one of these regions where this is uh, available. And also I'll show you a cheap property there. So the first thing to understand is that your income has to be passive income. Now, you might, might say, well, that means you have to be retired. My understanding is, yes, it would be things like social security. Yes, it would be a company pension. It could also be investment income. So if you have enough assets where you can meet the um, income requirements to to qualify for a visa in Italy, that definitely counts. It also includes real estate rental income. So if you have rental properties in the United States that pay you, again, a monthly passive income, that can also qualify you. There are other ways you could potentially do this, but for anything outside of the cut and dried passive income, you would wanna to talk to an immigration attorney just to make sure that what you think is, is passive income is actually considered passive income in Italy. As I mentioned, there are eight specific regions and they are for the most part in the southern part of Italy. These are areas that have seen a lot of uh, migration to the north. And the whole point of this tax regime is Italy wanted to lure retirees from other countries, including the United States, to move to these areas, bring their money in, buy properties, and uh, spend their money locally. And in return, they give people a, a flat tax for a specific amount of time, which we'll talk about in just a second. One requirement is you do have to be a non-resident for the previous five years. So unfortunately, if you are, have already relocated to Italy, you're not gonna be able to qualify for this 7% tax rate. But this does actually, I think, apply to Italian citizens if they have been outside of the country for five years. However, the passive income requirement is that it has to be passive income from another country, not Italy. Another requirement is you have to move to a town or village that has less than 20,000 people in population. Again, the goal of this is to lure people back to these small towns and villages, which to be honest are some of the most beautiful places in Italy, but they're trying to get people to move back to these places to revitalize them. There's actually a database that you can go on. So if there's a place you're interested in, let me know in the comments and I'll send you a link to this database. As I mentioned before, you, you have to be a tax resident of Italy. So if you buy, if you just decided, hey, I wanna buy like a vac vacation property in Italy and spend maybe a couple months there, that will not qualify you for this. To be a tax resident of Italy, you have to spend a minimum of six months and a day. So basically a 183 days, I believe, is the, the actual number of days. Then you're considered a tax resident. And the final piece, which I mentioned or alluded to earlier, is this tax treatment is good for 10 years, starting with the calendar year in which you become a tax resident of Italy, and then the following nine years. For planning purposes, this could be terrific. You would know with you know fairly certain terms what your income tax liability would be for at least 10 years. All right, the first region we're gonna look at is Molise. So Molise, you can see, is on the east coast of Italy. It's right below Abruzzo and just above Puglia, two other regions, which we'll look at in a second. You can see it's almost due uh, east from Rome. It, it is an interesting region in that it has some very high mountains in the interior here. So. If you're a person who loves you know, to see snow at least a little bit each year, um, you like to experience the different seasons, you don't want it to just be you know, hot all year, this actually would be a great region to move to. As you get closer to the Adriatic Sea up here on the coast, there are actually some very beautiful beaches and small beach towns that you could look at to retire. So here's a property I found in Molise, and it's in the town of, I'm gonna say Agnone, and let's just go through a couple of the property pictures. 
You see the interior looks pretty nice. There's a shot from the outside. It looks to me like it's right in town. So I'm guessing you'd be able to walk to restaurants and shops and bars and maybe a grocery. It does appear to be on the first floor, which is the, what in the United States we might call the second floor. So not the ground floor, but the, the first floor above, above that. Again, it looks in great shape. And you can see it is listed right now for 74,500 euros. So that's about a little under $80,000. You could own this three bedroom, two bath apartment in Italy. Pretty darn good, if you ask me. So Molise is our first uh, region where we get this 7% tax treatment. So Campania is on the west coast of Italy and you can see it's directly south of Molise that we just looked at. It includes the city of Naples, even though the cities there, remember the 20,000 person requirement. So you would not be able to move to the city of Naples and get this treatment. You'd have to move out into the countryside. But there are tons of lovely villages, both in the mountains and along the coastline that would certainly qualify for this. And here's the property that's located in Campania. It is in the town of San Pietro Infine. You can see it's listed for 58,000 euros. So it's going to be just over 60,000 US dollars. Again, the inside looks like they maybe have new floors. Looks like some kind of laminate has been put down. Also some tiles. I love these French doors that you can open to get a breeze coming through and a couple of nice little verandas. Anyway, $58,000 is super cheap. The next region we're going to look at is Calabria which is the toe of the boot of Italy. It's a region with tons of coastline, as you can see. The property that I picked here, the reason I picked it is it's got an incredibly big terrace outside. Um, you can see it's listed for 86,000 euros. And just look at the size of this terrace. Weather permitting, I would be spending like most of my time out here. You can see the mountains in the distance. I mean, it's just incredible. And you can see this is right in um, the town of Scalea, which is a beautiful seaside town. And it's a fairly small interior, but again, it looks like it's been nicely taken care of. The next region that qualifies for the 7% income tax that we're looking at is Sicily. That's the island off of the toe of the boot of Italy. And it's in the, the very further south. There are some mountains uh, on the island, so you can get some cooler uh, climate if you go inland a little ways. The property I chose in Sicily is listed for 28,000 euros. It does require a little bit of work, but it looks like it's livable. So it's something you could, if you want to retire here, you could move into and just update over time. You can see very rustic from the outside with the stonework. As we go inside, you see it's decent size. That's not completely cramped. And it's got a beautiful little terrace here to look over the town. It does appear to be in the town. So like before, you would probably be able to walk to mo most of the services you would need. And here's another good shot of the terrace, which is very nice. I would definitely clean this up, put a table and chairs out here, and this would be my coffee or glass of wine spot in the evening. Next is a region of Basilicata, which is in the instep of the boot of Italy. So it's in between Calabria, which we already looked at, Campania, which is where Naples is, you can see up kind of up to the to the left, and Puglia, which we'll look at in a second, which is the heel, which is on the right. Basilicata is not as well known a region. The apartment I found in Basilicata is only 15,000 euros. Now, again, it's not super nice, but if you're worried about retiring in the United States, like you're going to have to worry, work until your dying days, this can be a great option for people, particularly if you don't have a lot of money saved. Now, you do still have to qualify for the passive income requirements to live in Italy, but they're fairly low. This property you can see has a nice veranda. Again, it's not new, but it's workable especially again for $15,000, that's the cost of a used car in the United States. It looks like it's got great views over this town in the countryside. Our sixth region that you can qualify for the 7% income tax is Sardinia, which is of course an island. It's out in the middle of the Mediterranean. So if you're a coast person, beach person, 
boating person, this would be a terrific place to look. It's directly below, you can see Corsica, just to the north of Sardinia, but that belongs to France. Sardinia is a, a place I haven't really researched that much, but I do know there are a lot of nice, cheap places there. Here's a two bedroom place I found that is, it's 90,000 euros, so it's not ultra cheap. Um, so it's gonna be just under 100,000 US dollars. But the reason I picked it is, look at the views from this terrace overlooking the the water and it looks like you can see on the map here it's right here and it's up built up on this i don't know if it used to be like a castle or a fortress of some type look at that blue water it's just beautiful all right seventh on our list is the region of puglia or in italian they call it apulia and this is the heel of the boot of italy and you can see it's a very long region in the south of italy tons of beautiful towns and coastal villages, lots of lovely beaches. Down here, just off the coast of Lecce, is the coast of Greece. So traveling to Greece by ferry or by plane would be very easy if you are interested in that. And the property I found in Puglia is one of my favorites. First of all, obviously, look at this terrace um, up on the roof of the property. And, you know, again, great place to spend your mornings, your evenings, your afternoons, anytime you could, I would be up here enjoying the, the beautiful weather. But what makes this place special to me is look at this interior, the way it has been renovated. These vaulted ceilings with stone, all the tile work, everything looks pristine to me. And believe it or not, this is only 63,000 euros. So that's going to be under 70,000 US dollars. It's also pretty big. 170, 170 square meters is going to be like 1,850 square feet. So it's not small. Let me just go through a couple more pictures. Wow. I mean, look at that. That is that's one of my favorite looks in Italy is the vaulted ceilings that have been um, where they take the plaster off to reveal the beautiful stonework. Yeah, this place is just terrific. Definitely one of my favorites. All right, last but not least is the region of Abruzzo. So again, this is the last of the regions that qualify you for that 7% uh, income tax if you retire to Italy and meet the requirements. Abruzzo has maybe become my favorite region. It's got a great combination of mountains in the interior. I mean, just beautiful mountains, high mountains, ski resorts, incredible hiking, so much history, these tiny little hilltop villages and towns. And then as you move out to the coast where Pescara is located, the whole coastline is dotted with beaches and uh, beach towns, coastal towns. It's just amazing. The other nice thing about Abruzzo is the connections to Rome. You see all these yellow highways. These are like uh, what they call autostrada or like a, a four lane highway. And to get from Rome to most anywhere in Abruzzo, you're looking at maybe hour and a half to two and a half hours to get even all the way over to Pescara on the coast. So if being able to get back and forth from Rome and its international airport is important, Abruzzo is a terrific place to retire. And for Abruzzo, I had to show you this one. This is just incredible. If you've watched many of my videos, you know I'm a sucker for a, a terrace, a deck, an outdoor area that's got a, a view where you can enjoy the weather. I mean, look at this patio overlooking this lake. It's just incredible. Let me go through some more property photos here too. Look at that view. Oh, I could just sit out there all day, every day. It'd be amazing. The other nice thing about Abruzzo is because of its proximity to larger towns and cities, you're going to be fairly close to all the amenities you could need, like grocery stores, hospitals, transportation, trains, and things like that. But these views are just amazing. And the property looks to be in very nice condition. Again, some exposed stone give you that really rustic Italian look. It's just amazing. And again, I'll put the link to the property listings down in the pinned comment. So make sure you go down there and check. And also just leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. If you'd like to see some more like this. Wow. Yep. Just imagine sitting out here, drinking your fresh Italian coffee in the morning or having a nice glass of wine with your spouse out here after a day of adventure. This is just the, the dream. It's amazing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel 
and hit the like button if you will. And if you wanna see another cheap Italian property, you can watch the video right over there.